Greetings and salutations all. In this video, we're going to be walking through how to download and install R for Mac OS. To begin, please open a web browser and go to cran.r-project.org. Once you're there, uh, go up to where you see download R for Mac OS and select that link. When you select that link, you'll be taken to a page that contains the installers for the latest version of R, in this case, R 4.1. Now, depending on the architecture of your Mac, that is how new your Mac is or how old it is, you would either select the R-4.1.0 uh, package, which is geared towards Intel Macs, or if you have a new Mac, uh, that uses the M1 chip, uh, that means that you'll need to select the ARM64 dot packet. As a majority of us are probably on the Intel uh, Mac, we're going to select the R-4.1 dot package version. Once we select uh, the installer, it'll begin downloading in the lower left-hand side of our web browser. Once it's done downloading, please click on the icon uh, to launch the installer. Um, when the installer launches, you'll encounter a series of prompts um, indicating that you're going to go and install the latest version of R. To that end, um, we're going to go ahead and press continue. Um, we're going to also press continue on this prompt here as well. Uh, and um, if you wish, um, uh, you can also press continue again at this stage, but again, uh, I should emphasize, unlike the previous two, this is an actual legal license and it largely says um, this software is being given to you for free um, with a, a small set of conveniences. Uh, so it's not as if you're signing your life away, but it's an important distinction to make that you are agreeing to a license here. And um, you want to select the agree um, component from that pop-up. From there, go ahead and press install. It's going to install R into the default location. You will have to enter your password for your user account. Mine is not telling one. And once that's done, R 4.1 uh, for Mac OS will fully install. All right. After a few minutes, the installation uh, has now completed, so we can go out and close uh, that installer. The next part um, is moving the R4.1 installer to the trash. From there, we can open up R by going to where we see Spotlight and typing R, and then just pressing um, the R icon right underneath. So if we go ahead and uh, we do that, we'll be taken into what's called the R GUI. Now, we just want to really quickly verify that R has been installed. So we'll type out something like one plus one and we'll press enter. And we can see that R spits out uh, two. So this indicates that we've managed to successfully install R on an Intel-based Mac. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye now.